Hey guys, Matt here, and I want to show you a, comb a redstone combination lock using buttons. I'm going to try and explain how everything works. So what you want to do here first is just build the frame for the door. Let's this will be an iron door, of course. And the frame and the wall. And each button is going to have a block in between it. So just... And this one will be our reset. Alright, and we'll just so one, two, three, four, five, and just to save time, I'm gonna use a world edit here. That will block is at ninety eight. And then we'll have the buttons. Oh, whoops. And we'll label. And you can expand this as far as you want, but I'm just keeping it at 5 for now. And you can, this is a. Uh, you can program like what numbers you want in it, like whatever you want very easily. Uh, before we start with the buttons though, let's uh, do the door. Uh, it is going to be a little different, you're not just going to plop it down, so actually destroy these real quick, and, hold on, so that's where the door will go, on top of that block. What you want to do is, uh, set a torch, hold on, a redstone torch, facing, well, coming off of the block that's on the side of the buttons, and, uh, just have some redstone leading out from it for now so then and then what you want to do is have the iron door face this well, all right here all right face this way and place it just like that and then place the blocks around it so now what's going on here is uh, the redstone torch is powering the black which is on the iron door since it was facing this way it looks like it's closed but it's really open so now you can't like use anything to open this door except for these buttons here which we will set up All right, so what you want to do is just place blocks here right, one, two, three, four, five. and this one will be our reset and just redstone on top of the blocks and torches right there and this will be our R's nor latches for the buttons so they act like levers and then uh, a uh, repeaters in front of the torch and then a block in front of the repeater and this is relatively small what I've seen other button combination locks and then redstone on top of that and how an RS Nord latch works it like I'll show you once I'm done uh, doing, done this uh, and place blocks next to the redstone so that like that and a torch on that and then torches here this will be our output and if you wanted them reversed, you would just not have the torch there and just have redstone there, but we want them reversed. Alright, so now I'll show you how they work. So when you press it, it acts like a lever, and it keeps it on. And when you press the, these ones again though, like they don't, re they don't, uh, it doesn't go back, you have to reset a different way, which I will show you, but you need a power... Wait, that doesn't. Oh, I'll show you. Hold on. Well, I'll get to that next. The reset. You want to build two blocks up in front of the torch, and build a line of blocks out like that, and leave the reset out here. So now, what you want to do is you want to place a redstone torch. 
above all the redstone. See, and that reset it. Because when you press this one, it turns this one off, which allows this one to turn on, which lets that torch, which lets uh, this bottom, uh, the bottom repeater over here, turn off, which allows this to go on. When you, but when you power this, it turns this on, turns this off, which turns this on, which turns this off. Uh, so it's kind of confusing, but you'll get it. And then place redstone on top of the box here with a torch to invert them right here. And then redstone here, the reset button. So when I press just a bunch of buttons, let's just press a few. As you see, the torches will stay on, but when I press the reset button, it will turn off again. All right. So now what you want to do, you want to put two redstone in e in front of each torch, and you you might need to change this later. I'll show you. And then a block, whoops, a block in front of each of, whoops, keep on placing in the wrong place. In front of the redstone, and then in front of those blocks, just a trail of blocks over here. Alright, so this is where you set up your combination. W the numbers that you want to be part, like, of the combination to unlock it, you want to place torches on top of those, so this would be 5, so I want 5 and 2. So these would be the ones that I, uh, do, uh, want to be part of the combination. And the ones that I don't want to be part of the combination, you would just place redstone there, and you place it everywhere else on top of the blocks. And now, like, to keep the redstone from going back into the current, you need to place a repeater where all the numbers not part of the combination are. Like that. Let's say I wanted to add 4 in there, I would just you place it like that. But I don't really want 4 in there. So, and then you want to place a torch there. So when this, how this works, you enter 2 and 5, it turns these torches off, which will let this redstone go off, which will allow this tor torch to turn on, opening that door. But if you enter like one, it'll turn this on, and that torch will never go on, unless you reset it and enter the right combination. So now just lead the trail from that torch to the door. So let's test it out. So it was two and five and it opens now if we set it there but if we enter two five and if we entered like three before that it wouldn't open and you need to reset it again and try again all right so now we're going to build uh the open and close button on the other side so they're also going to have one block in between each of the buttons. So this will be our close button. And this row will be our open button. Alright, let me just set that up. So that will be close. And this will be open. Alright, for the close button, you just want to... Uh, Put a block there. Alright, dig this down one more right here. And you just want to lead that to the reset button. And so it'll re so once you enter the combination correctly, go through the door. You need to close it. It would reset all the numbers and close the door behind you. And with the open button button, it's not gonna be linked up to the R's nor latches. Uh, it's just gonna be linked up to the door. So you would want a pulse uh extender so like you would have more time to get through the door and I'll just show you how to do that real quick so you want to have redstone they're split off in like three different parts put one repeater there set the full another set the full and then you want uh you want three in this row set the four and then you want five in this row and let's just make it a little shorter. Put a redstone. Alright, so it powers one. 
and then by the time that's powered, it powers this goes through, and it has, and then by the time that turns off, this one will go through, so it will stay open longer. You just want to link these up. Have all of them set to four ticks. Just link these up like that, and uh, so press it, press it. Door opens, and then it allows you enough time to get through without it closing in front of your face. So let's just test it all real quick. So two, five is the right combination. But let's say we entered like four. It will close to reset it. Enter two, five, four, close it. And then we can open it again. And also, we can't open it just like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll have more redstone tutorials up soon um and tell me like what you guys think of this combination lock uh like is it the smallest one you've ever seen is it the best one you've ever seen just like anything like worst one anything because i like to hear back from the viewer my viewers and just i like suggestions too so and i'm also going to start uh, a single player survival series also so yeah thanks for watching and uh see you next time